First, Ibrahim Adebi is my name. Today we shall be looking at a topic in mathematics which is simultaneous equation. A simultaneous equation is a pair of equation that we solve simultaneously. We solve if you solve one, you go to the other and you solve. And the one we are dealing with today is two linear simultaneous equation. We have the highest power here to be one, the highest power here to be one. So it's a linear simultaneous equation. Anyone that has the highest power to be two, that is quadratic simultaneous equation. Now we have three methods of solving simultaneous equation. The first one is elimination method. The second one is substitution method. While the third one is graphical method. We solve it by graph. If you solve it correctly, you must have the same answers. Now let's start with the elimination method. From the word eliminate, that means to destroy, to kill. You kill a letter out of these two letters. You remove that letter out of these two letters. But before we can do that, we need to look at it. Which of these letters has uniform coefficient? The coefficient here is plus one. The coefficient here is plus one. That is uniform coefficient. The coefficient here is plus two. The coefficient here is plus three. They are not uniform. So I want to deal with the one that has uniform coefficient. So it is better if I eliminate x. But before I eliminate it, let me bring out the two coefficients. I'll teach you two methods of eliminating any letter you want to eliminate. Let's bring out the coefficient of x here. That is plus 1. The coefficient here is also plus 1. What sign will you put in between this to get 0? What sign will you put here to get 0? The sign is minus. Let's try. Minus times plus, minus. And you put the 1. Plus 1 minus 1, 0. That means I'll put that minus here. That minus will affect it. But if you don't want to do it that way, I will teach you another method. We call it SSS. And we have another, we call it DSA. SSS means same sign subtraction. I want to eliminate this. And I have positive, positive. So I will subtract. Same sign subtraction. Same sign subtraction. But if it is different sign, addition. So this is zero already. That one is out. The coefficient of y here is plus 2. Write your plus 2. The coefficient of y here is plus 3. Don't forget it is minus. It will affect everything here. That This is the minus. Now plus 3. Plus 3. It's equal to 5 minus 8. Then I go on. Plus times minus. Minus. This plus 2 remains. And this 3 remains. Why this one remains as minus 3. Now, 2 minus 3, that is minus 1. So here I have minus 1, y. But in math, we don't write the coefficient if it is 1. So that 1 is not needed. So minus y is equal to, this is 5 minus 8, minus 3. So this one is minus 3. I'll put my minus 3 here. And this minus, we cut this minus. So my y is equal to 3. Now, when y is equal to 3, you have not finished. You have to get the value of y and x. Put this y into any of this equation. This can be your equation 1. This can be your equation 2. So, put it there. I will now say substitute. The short form of substitution is substitute y into equation. Look at the way I abbreviated my equation. Equation 1. I want to use equation 1. If you use equation 1, you get the same answer if you solve very well. If you use equation 2, you get the same answer. Equation 1 says x plus 2y is equal to 5. Wherever I see y, I put 3. x plus 2, open bracket, 3 is equal to 5. x plus 6 is equal to 5. Then my x is, this is plus 6. Goes here to become what? Minus 6. Thank you very much. So my x is equal to minus 1. Now if you want to check if you are right or wrong, substitute these values into this you will get this answer that is very simple we'll go to example two but let's quickly go for a short break thank you